Hello my darlings, my cyber angels. This is just a short introduction because it saves me time with uh, every video. You can just skip the introduction but you might miss just some news. So welcome back and thank you for your loyalty, your likes and your shares. I love you, love you, love you all really much and I th I'm really grateful with all the thumbs up, the subscriptions and the likes and sharing that you do. The live sessions are so wonderful. I was talking to a cyber angel tonight and it's just magic to get to know you, sometimes personally and sometimes just for a chat or a making an appointment for an extensive reading. It's so nice to really hear your voices. Uh, yes, I'm redoing the introduction um, and uh, you know, I just love this work. I do it with all my love and a pure heart and I just want to reach as many people as I can and help them. Uh, so please, please share with family and friends and let's get more cyber angels joining our family, our cyber family. And please um, remember this is a general reading so if it doesn't resonate with you then look at your moon sign and your rising sign. There is also new reviews out uh, on the decks, the Pagan deck, the Avalonian deck, um, the uh, Lenormand's Cartomancy deck and TLC for your soul. That's this one. This is the Avalonian tarot deck and this is the Lenormand Cartomancy deck and the Pagan Way deck and they're beautiful and awesome. Some I did go into depth and detail in the Avalonian uh, uh, Oracle deck and the Pagan Way uh, Tarot deck uh, and I enjoyed doing it. It is a bit long but I think that if you uh, would like to have a deck it's always nice to see uh, what it looks like before you buy it and that is why I have extended it um, gone slowly uh, with each card so that you can view them and I've also uh, put out extensive information so that you really know what you are ordering it's always difficult to order from uh, internet or from a catalogue and that's why it is so important to do reviews I would love to share the knowledge and my luck and my happiness with the decks and my interpretations. So have a look at the reviews and also have a look at the energy video of the energy of Virgo as we are going into Virgo at the end of this week. As this is going to be your reading for the 17th to the 23rd of August 2020 and the energy of Virgo Virgo moon is already entering in on the 19th and the Sun on the 23rd that is just a little bit of news that is all very positive news and there's also relaxing news as I've made my first meditation video and it's meditation for the chakra uh, if you don't know how to meditate then sit quietly and contemplate and evaluate. Listen to this music. I've had beautiful reviews and feedbacks from different people not only on YouTube but on Facebook, Messenger, you name it. And so I advise you please go and have a look at the meditation video. And please remember like and share and subscribe and hit the bell on all. There is um, something quirky happening and I and Brenda discovered this because we weren't getting notified when we go live. She doesn't get notified when I go live and I don't get notified when she goes live. So we were mucking around on YouTube and we hit the bell on all again 
just to reset it and yes then you get a pop-up saying you will be notified so make sure that you are resetting or refreshing your little button the bell on all of your favorite channels so there we go some there's something shared is something aired i hope you will enjoy the video take care my darlings and have a beautiful week stay safe and be blessed hi aquarius and this is your reading for the 17th to the 23rd of august and i'm going to start off with the um, pagan waste tarot and you have the five of wands i hope sorry about the glistening and yes it says strife perhaps you might have had disagreements or are having disagreements and discussions with people but this is not a long lasting um, argument if it is turns to into an argument to me this is more of competition as well than strife okay so there you might have a disagreements but it is not of long term or a bad time really a bad argument it's more about competition than conflict okay so be aware there might be big competition that might make it difficult and that you might get a little bit of strife then we have the number 16 from the Lenaman and we've also got cartomancy here so number seven you've got luck and you have the six of hearts the six of hearts is the six of cups you might be reminiscing about the past okay somebody could be coming back from the past and bringing you a present this is also that could be somebody from your childhood days and this is the star card like I said and it means that your wish or your goal is coming true Wow and the star also represents um, um, Aquarius so there could be an Aquarius coming back you might have had some strife with this Aries Aquarian um, in the past when you were kids but um, it's long gone now it's over and done with they've grown up as well just like you and in the middle of the week we have the moon and the moon is a very emotional and sensitive spiritual card as it represents Pisces so it could be with a Pisces that's coming back your intuition might be heightened at the moment because we are going into Virgo okay we are going into Virgo on the 21st well I hope you've seen the video on the Virgo energy it starts at the 19th and that's the moon okay the moon energy and then it actually goes into Virgo on the 23rd so it could be a very sensitive time for you Aquarius your sensitivity your spirituality your intuitiveness your emotions might be heightened so be careful don't get into strife okay because you you'll be you're highly sensitive just remember because of this cusp issue this full moon of Virgo we're going in uh, you could be actually quite sensitive you c might be even a little bit more too um, finicky or precise putting salt on each snail let me put it that way that is what I'm getting um, so don't be too finicky and don't put salt on every little snail on your path don't blame everybody don't be a perfectionist for somebody for others but also for yourself go and have a look at the um, Virgo energy moon video you've got number four so you have proper foundations and you've got the house and this is also the king of hearts the king of hearts is cancer so you've got cancer and Pisces energy but it could also be Scorpio okay but you could be meeting the king of hearts 
cancer. And the house. Make sure you don't isolate yourself. Okay, make sure you don't isolate. The house gives us protection and we feel safe there. And that is what this card means. So, um, if you are hiding yourself away from the outside world, come out of your little house. Come out of your ice, um, isola uh, isolation. Sorry, sometimes it's difficult with two languages get out of your comfort zone as well perhaps in your uh, love relationships or work relationships do something different come out of that safety net or situation that you are in at this moment because it will bring you big rewards as you have the chariot again the chariot represents f um, cancer okay you're going forwards and upwards. This is victory, public recognition, perhaps recognition from your boss or your clients. You might be moving home, you might be expanding your home or your business, moving to bigger property as you've got victory and recognition. You might be traveling, and you, this could be for business, but it could also be for pleasure. In other words, having a holiday. You hold the key. As we have the um, key card from the Lenaman, and we've got the Eight of Pentacles. Again, recognition. The Eight of Diamonds is recognition. And look at those eyes that looks like the eyes of an owl so wisdom you might start a new study but you've got recognition for your hard work and perhaps your wisdom you've got number 33 which is also a six that's the house of balance you're balanced okay and an angel number card so you hold the key to come out of your comfort zone open that door with the key Open the door to positivity, to more opportunity. Close the door on negativity. And you've got union, the two of cups. This could be partnership in love, but it could also be partnership in business. As the two of cups is also a little bit, for me, a soulmate. You might have met your soulmate. You might be going on holiday with your soulmate. So open the door to your heart and let love in. It's very green. So that's the heart chakra. And talking about the heart, we have the heart from the Lenaman. And again, two and four is six. So you've got 33, 6, and then the 6 of diamonds is 6, so there might be 6, 6, 6. Wow. Have a look on Google what 6, 6, 6 means. Okay, 6, 6, 6 is 18, 18 is 9. Something might be coming to an end and a new beginning. Well, let's have a look. Your wish. Woo, nice one. Recognition, also a new, this is moving on, also a new beginning. Okay, the six of pentacles, give and take, share and share alike. You might be re getting a gift or you might be giving a gift. Okay, the six of pentacles and joining up together. And you've got love and you've got the jack, the jack of hearts. So you might be get receiving a letter or new, a news of love, passion, nurturing is the page of cups, page of cups, okay. So this could even be an invitation from somebody from the past as you've got the six of hearts here. Wow, so you've got four sixes. That's 24, and that becomes a 6 as well. Okay, you've got the 6 here, you've got the 6 there, the 33 is 6, and 6 here. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps here. So this is big love, this is big love, union, 
there you go on the two of cups amazing now Aquarius I'm going in to the Avalonian card right sorry about that it broke off for some reason I am editing and uploading at the same time so the computer it's a laptop has to do a lot of work okay you have the healer the healer here you can see a woman preparing medication from herbs and you can see all her instruments and herbs in the background okay the key words to um, this card is healing, wholeness, harvest, spiritual, midwifery, support, skill, unity, balance of body and mind and soul. So let's connect this card to um, wholeness, unity. We've got unity here, union, the heart, marriage, partnership. Okay healing coming out of your hiding place isolament uh, not isolament that's Dutch um, isolation sorry <laughs> you see how the words are so similar sometimes and you hold the key to healing yourself you've got recognition there are people that love you and you might be meeting a cancer you've got cancer here Pisces here um, the uh, King of Hearts, the King of Cups, which is Cancer as well. And what else? We've got the Page of Hearts. So yours is very emotional reading. So that means you might be feeling upset because of um, a, an argument or a discussion you had with somebody, perhaps your partner or potential partner. So you need time to heal my darling but come out of your comfort zone otherwise there are people that will support you talk to you use your skill and get yourself back into balance your body mind and soul now the quest of this card is the path of wholeness requires that we undertake a healing journey that clarifies the mind um, sanctifies the body and re uh, reintegrates the spirit acknowledging those places within us that are less than actualized recognized recognizing the patterns that are not in support of our sovereignty of our self that means and embracing and willingness to effect change in the way we view the world of our place within it are the pre uh, prerequisite that's a difficult word prerequisites prerequisites for undertaking the great work of personal evolution so come out of your um, isolation you must do that to take your place in the your world and the people around you and it is undertaking great work of personal evolution to evolve and union with the divine so union with your partner and the divine divine could be also getting married that divine is also be one with the source it is not a sign of weakness to admit that one is in need of healing nor is it a glorification of brokenness to focus on healing as a found fundamental part of the spiritual path indeed it is only by recognizing the places that lie in the shadow that we know where to shine the light. This is an undertaking that requires courage, tenacity and dedication, like the chariot. He can only be the champion if he dedicates and has tenacity and courage to go and win the competition and that is in the end yields knowledge compassion and wisdom so you will be harvesting knowledge compassion especially with all the hearts in the cups in this reading uh, and knowledge 
you can that will stand you in good stead now the affirmation that you can do is I embrace each opportunity for healing that presents itself to me knowing that with each challenge met I take another step on my journey towards wholeness as I heal I grow as I grow I change as I change I further manifest my authentic and authenticity and self sovereignty the self uh, and that's yourself self in the, in the world only I can heal myself as true and lasting healing comes from within I'm patient with my process and love myself knowing that being wounded is not the same as being a victim so don't be a victim you're not a victim you're just healing you've just been hurt so grow uh, every step step of the way it's like being the infant and the toddler uh, we fall down and that hurts we stand up we carry on until we can walk then we have TLC card for the soul speaking it into being yes confirmation affirmation visualization speak words of jubilant affirmation into your life you can create happiness through an inner state of mind. The mind is power, mind over matter, that is what I'm hearing. Practice by repeating to yourself, I accept good in every form, or I am well loved, or everything works out for me. Be your champion. In planning for your future, start where you find yourself right now. Outer circumstances do not have to define you. Experiment with how different thoughts affect your well-being. Your spiritual side, your sensitive side. Dismiss words that amplify suffering and misfortune. Cast aside the illusion of fate. That the belief that your life is predetermined. If you do so, you can no longer uh, if you do so you are no longer living in what could have been but rather you are entering into the possibilities of what you can become so it's not what you are it's what you can become and will you succeed yes because you've got victory here you've got the champion here and you've got an answer of the angels yes you will succeed but you must do the work come out of isolation come out of your comfort zone open the doors okay and close the doors on negativity so that the doors of possibility positivity also come possibility as well will come to you okay I really enjoyed this reading I hope you did too take care and Please like and share and stay safe and blessed. Ciao, ciao.